day, students. Welcome again to our virtual class. We learned in our previous videos that the internet is a powerful tool. Through the internet, we can promote business, gain new friends, and stay in touch with the old ones. However, as powerful as it is, it is also one of the most dangerous places. To aid ourselves from the threats on the internet, it is better to understand and analyze its threats. Here are some threats you should be aware of when using the internet. We have malware, spam, and phishing. Under malware, we will discuss some of its variants which are virus, worm, trojan, spyware, and adware. Under phishing, we will understand what is farming. To begin, let us understand first what is malware. Basically, when we talk about malware, it comes from the words malicious software. It is a file or code typically delivered over a network that infects, explores, steals, or conducts virtually any behavior an attacker wants. It is intentionally designed to disrupt a computer, server, client, or computer network, leak private information, gain unauthorized access to information or systems, deprive users of access to information, or unknowingly interfere with the user's computer security and privacy. Malware has so many variants, and one of these is virus. A virus is a malicious program designed to replicate itself and transfer from one computer to another, either through the internet and local networks or data storage like flash drives and CDs. The next variant is Worm. This variant is a malicious program that transfers from one computer to another by any type of means. Often, it uses a computer network to spread itself. An example of this is the I Love You Worm, or sometimes referred as the Love Bug Worm, which was created by a Filipino named Onel de Guzman. This I Love You Worm destroys all kinds of files including photographs, audio files, and documents. Affected users who didn't have backup copies lost them permanently. If you want to know more about this, you may check out the description below. The third variant is Trojan. It is a malicious program that is disguised as a useful program but once downloaded or installed, leaves your PC unprotected and allows hackers to get your information. Trojan files are usually saved as .exe files. So the next time you encounter a .exe file, make sure not to download or install it on your computer. An example of Trojan is ROG security software which tricks the user into posing that it is a security software. It asks the user to pay to improve his or her security, but in reality, they are not protected at all. The next variant is spyware, a program that runs in the background without you knowing it. That's why it's called spy. It can monitor what you are currently doing and typing through key logging. Now, a keylogger is a tool used to record keystrokes done by the users. This is usually done to steal their password or any sensitive information. It can record email, messages, or any information you type using your keyboard. The last variant of malware is adware. Adware is a program designed to send advertisements mostly as pop-ups. You can usually see adwares in restricted or unwanted sites. 
Some would tell you that you won a million dollar and you have to claim it before the time runs out. Now, the second internet threat is spam. Spam is an unwanted email that mostly comes from bots or advertisers. It can be used to send malware. The last internet threat is phishing. Its goal is to acquire sensitive personal information like passwords and credit card details. This is done by sending you an email that will direct the user to visit a website and be asked to update his or her username, password, credit card, or personal information. Now there is what we call farming, which is a more complicated way of phishing wherein it exploits the domain name service or the DNS system. Farming is when a hacker directs an internet user to a fake website instead of a legitimate one. These spoofed sites can capture a victim's confidential information including usernames, passwords, and credit card data, or install malware on their computer. These are only some of the internet threats you may encounter on the internet. And I tell you, as time goes by, there will be a lot more threats that will be created. So make sure to remain vigilant and cautious when browsing online. And that's all for today for our lesson on internet threats. I hope you learned something from today's video. Just take note and remember, that for every lock, there is someone out there trying to pick it and break in. So always stay safe when using the internet. If you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to leave a like and comment. And also, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I publish my latest videos.